I know, I know, Chad is dressed up once again, right? But, you know, I gotta set the mood for this very fragrance because it just comes across as so tropical, even though it does not state in the name because today we're gonna be talking about bond number nine, Coney Island. Coney Island is not a tropical place at all. It's a fun atmosphere that's got amusement parks, beaches, food, fun, family, all this kind of great stuff. Man, I gotta go to Coney Island even though I'm not much of a crowd person, but it's something that I just gotta check out for the experience. Let's just get into it. Bond number nine, Coney Island, was launched in 2007 and it's considered an amber spicy. The note breakdown, according to Forgetica, top notes are gonna be tequila, lime, melon, and guava, with the mid mean cinnamon, caramel, and dark chocolate, and the base is gonna be musk, cedar, sandalwood, and vanilla. So what do I get out of this set here? Now it's been on my hand for the last, oh, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes because I've had to take a break, restart, take a break, restart, so. It's been one of those mornings. All right, so in the opening, I get lots of bright lime. There is also a salty accord in this scent. Now, I don't know if it's from the tequila, but you do get a boozy accord as well. I have no clue if tequila comes across as salty, but you do get that salty vibe as well, okay? You're also gonna get a very fruity nuance of guava and melon. The opening lasts a really long time of the scent life. I'm talking like four to six hours. And then 20 to 25 minutes later, that's when the caramel or the dark chocolate come into play. I don't really get either one. I just get a bit of a gourmandy feel that adds extra sweetness to it. And, it. and that sweetness does balance out the saltiness to it. So it becomes a sweet, salty fragrance. For me, it, it kind of reminds me of like a sweet, salty, dark chocolate that I tend to have every week and as like my treat because treat, you know, I'm trying to lose some weight. I'm really trying this time around. But it does have that vibe. And that scent profile really does last as I said, a, a really good duration of the scent life. There's a lot going on in this fragrance, but it's like, the, you could pick out the notes here and there. Like they're not fighting for top, for top spot at all. But it does start to tame a little bit more and it becomes more muskier and maybe a little bit more woody. I don't get a whole lot of wits to this one here, but it does become a little bit more muskier. This is supposed to be part of Bond's beach collection and I can't see it that it has that beachy vibe because when you're like, let's say like, like there's different types of beaches, right? You got like freshwater beaches, which you know, for me, it's not really a beach, but you got like the ocean beach. When you come out of the ocean and you let the sun dry you off, you're gonna get that sea salty airiness from your skin. That's what this does come across. That, that type of saltiness with the musk, but also, a little bit of suntan lotion as well. Now, Coney Island stated that it's an, it's an amusement park, food, beaches, all that kind of stuff. It does come across as that. However, it also comes across as this. It has that tropical resort vibe. This is supposed to also smell like a margarita. I've stated on many occasions that I can't pinpoint what is what when it comes to booze, right? I can't pick out gin, rum, vodka, and all that kind of stuff. Yet, I can't pick out beer, wine, mojitos, but also that margarita itself. This does come across as a margarita drink as well, but it does have that beachy, tropical feel. So this is a summertime fragrance, yet you could wear this all year round if you live in a hot tropical country or a climate like Puerto Rico, Brazil, Mexico, Hawaii. This re really will do well all year round in those types of climates. This is also a very casual scent. So you could wear it to the beach, you could wear it to Coney Island itself, to like the amusement park. Hell, you could even wear this to Canada's Wonderland, which is kind of like our Disney World in a sense. But you could also wear it like, it's a weekend fragrance. So if you are a Bond person, okay, like you like you wear, like you, you are a loyalist to the brand itself and you work in corporate America. Let's say that you wear like Scent of Peace, uh, Bleecker Street, I'm just thinking as whatever comes to mind that's, that's more professional smelling than this. 
This is a good weekend fragrance. This is a great tropical resort scent as well. So when it comes to work, it doesn't come across as a professional scent. This also, and I'm gonna, this kind of intertwines, it does remind me of my time in Hawaii. That's where I went for my honeymoon and we stayed at the, high, uh, the Waikiki Hilton Resort. Now, when it comes to that type of work environment, like at the Hilton Waikiki, yeah, like the concierge, the pool staff, the valets, the lifeguards, the restaurants there, you could wear this easily and it ha as it does have that mahalo, that wa aloha, that, that, that chill laid back vibe. Longevity was really good. It does range anywhere from eight hours to 11, but you're definitely gonna get your money's worth out of this. Speaking of money, retail price, this goes for, <laughs> it's a bit, pretty penny, it's bond, right? Retail, they are quite expensive. So if you are scared about getting a dupe, please get it through the official website itself. But I've seen this for as low as, I believe it was 170 on, on perfumeonline.ca, a tester that I just might get if it drops a little bit lower in price tag. Now when you convert 170 Canadian, that's about 130 to $140 USD. And that's a 100 milliliter tester. So 130 to 140, that's, that's really good bang for your buck. The wife thoughts this one, wife does like this one quite a bit. She does find it's unisex, which it technically is, but she does get the fruity nuance. She gets the lime, the tequila, but she also gets a gourmandy feel, which adds that little bit of sweetness, she says. Yeah, she finds it's more of a casual kind of fragrance, not really something for work. And I ended up asking a few of my coworkers just for the hell of it. Now, I ended up asking my buddy Marvin, who is originally from, well, his parents are originally from Trinidad and Tobago, so that's out in the Caribbean. And when I asked my buddy Marvin, he's like, yo, this smells a lot like the Caribbean. So because of that statement, I thought I would ask a few of my other Caribbean workmates. And one guy who's actually from St. Lucia says that it smells like the beaches of St. Lucia. So it's not just me who thinks it has that tropical getaway resort, all right? So in the end, what are my thoughts? I have to be fair and I gotta say this. When I smelt this six years ago, that opening was sensational. But it was the dry down that totally turned me off. And I remember this and I completely forgot about it, but it reminded me when I came across Cody, Drag Doc's video on this fragrance and I saw my comment, I'm like, I remember now. Cody said, and Cody, I just gotta say this, you gotta come back to YouTube, please. We, we miss you a lot. So we need some of that old school back, so please come back. Cody thought that this was a scrubber. The opening for him was really good. The, the dry down was a complete scrubber. It was like that for me in the beginning, but now this is bottle worthy. I love the scent itself. Maybe the musk at first was too much for me. It becomes pretty musky, but that saltiness with the sweetness and the fruitiness and the booziness, you, sometimes you gotta let, you really gotta give things a second chance. You really have to let it, like you have to learn to love it. And I love this fragrance. I think it's fantastic. If you can get it for a, a cheaper price, because retail, you know, as much as I love Bond, they are a little expensive. If you can get this uh, for a good price, I say just get it. But sample first before blind buying. Because again, six years ago, seven years ago, when I smelt this one, the opening was sensational. The dry down, I loathed. But now I love. So it's, it's, a, it's another L word. Loathing to loving. Rating out of five, this is gonna have to be a four and a quarter out of five. Longevity, smell, um, <laughs> it's just, you know, price tag is pretty decent if you get it online. But it's not the most versatile fragrance. It has its specific purposes, but oh, this is something that I'm thinking, like I'm highly thinking about getting. So guys, that is my little review of Bond number nines. Coney Island. If you have smelled this one, let us know in the comment section below what your thoughts on it. Did it, was it very much like mine from the beginning, like that you loved it, but you hated that dry down until, to where you now love it? 
let us know. Any reviews that I've done from this brand, as usual, they will be in the description below. If you want to see some other, let's say, some tropical fragrances, then check out this side here. And if you want to check out some, some smell rates or maybe some top fives, then please check out this side here. I thank you for your time. Take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.